everybody. It's about 11.30 on um, Eastern Pacific time. Is that how you say it? Eastern Pacific? Eastern. Eastern. Eastern time. But we're on Southern time, so it's really 10.30 our time. Anyway, we're headed back from Indiana. I had um, a few... uh, of you all tell me, message me, tell me that you were from Indiana and you all are starting to ask like when I'm going to do meetups and stuff like that and um, I have never really thought of it because until until um, I put, until I've really um, started putting out my Facebook information, I haven't really connected with you all other than just a few comments here and there, but I'm just like so amazed. Y'all have been just messaging me and uh, wanting to talk to me and I just feel so flattered and honored and it just finally feels like I'm able to connect with you all really um, so thank you for that it makes me excited and feel happy um, we are on our way back to Mississippi and it's a 10 hour drive but what's nice about traveling down is we gain an hour so um, what we should get home at what time I don't know I don't know 10 hours from now. Well, like 9 hours. Like uh, eight. 8 hours? We've been on the road. About 8, yeah, because it's 9 and a half hours. Okay. We'll be home when we get home, but we got Sophie with us. She did really, really good. And we're trying to find a rest stop because guess what? I have a tiny bladder and I always have to use the bathroom. And I had a cup of coffee before we left Indiana, so that doesn't help either. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of footage over the weekend just because I was around family and friends the whole time and I just didn't, um, you know, didn't think to pull out my camera. It's funny because I actually had eventful things going on, but I didn't record any of it. Uh, We went to the Kentucky Fair last night and I rode a few rides with um, my friend's little boy, Jackson, and uh, we just had a good time. But anyway, I think that I might be getting sick a little bit. I don't know if it was just like severe allergies because the Ohio Valley is like the worst place for um, allergies and that's the area we were in. Um, So I'm hoping that it goes away, but I kind of feel like I have the symptoms of the flu, like the body aches and just so tired and drained. Like every little thing I do makes me so tired. So anyway, y'all pray for me that I don't have the flu. I've had it before and it's just the worst ever. So anyway, let's keep trucking along for eight hours. Woo. We're in northern Alabama, which I think is pretty funny because we are both rocking our Ohio State gear. And if you follow football whatsoever, then you would know the Ohio State is um, the national champions of 2014. I'm sorry, 2015, right? Well. Technically, it was in 20. Anyway, they're the national championships is for 2014. Um, but it was a big deal because in order to get to that point, they had to be a um, uh, SEC team. And you know what? We live in the South, and the South is a little bit arrogant on um, their football pride. And they were just talking a whole bunch of hype before the game. And guess what? Ohio State came down and beat them, and they went on to win the champions championship. So anyway, I'm just saying all that to say we're in Alabama right now and I feel like everybody just kind of gives us these evil little stares when we come in and um, yeah, represented. So we um, found like a little um, like turnaround place because it's really hard when you're traveling with a dog. You have to um, you have to take breaks and she needs to go to the bathroom and she just gets restless and is just walking all over the car. She's been doing such a great job but we're about um, a little over halfway or are we halfway yet? A little over halfway. A little over halfway our trip and she just couldn't take it anymore so we stopped and this we got this big field for her to just run around in and it's not that hot northern alabama like everybody is so funny we talk about how hot it is down south and how the humidity just like really gets the best of you that's what makes it so hot and everybody's like oh yeah it was humid here the other day it's like no you don't understand it is you the humidity that is down on the coast is like crazy crazy like stand outside and just start dripping in sweat like we're in northern Alabama right now and it's a beautiful day and we're just sitting out here and there's a cool breeze coming and there's maybe a little bit of humidity but it is nothing compared to what is down where we live um and we even live like an hour from the coast and it's still not that um not as bad as it is when you get further down south so anyway I have got um we got Taco Bell I'm enjoying a Mexican pizza and then I've got two um soft tacos in there and then Josh is 
enjoying the cantina ball now we used to get these all the time but they did something in the past few months they changed a few of their ingredients in the cantina ball and it's not as good as it used to be but um it's it's still okay i don't know what was it do you think i really don't know it just there was a salsa in here that's not in here anymore mm -hmm. but i don't know it's still pretty good not as good as it used to be the chicken's different yeah, they just they changed quite a few things. They put different cheese, salsa. Um, I think they used to like let their beans soak in something because every time you'd bite into a bean, it was like you got this extra flavor. I don't know. They did something different. It's not as good. So Taco Bell, if you ever watch this, you need to change it back to the way it was. Um, so anyway, I'm going to eat my food now and we'll talk to you later. Ooh, look at these clouds. Look how pretty. All the things we do for our pets. I'm walking out here way to the edge of this field so that way. Sophie! Come here, honey! Sophie! <laughs> that way this girl can get some exercise! Honey! Sophie, come here! Yes, he's a good girl! He's a good girl! Where's daddy? Go get him! Hey everyone! I'm in my PJs. We finally made it home. And I'm so, so happy. Um, it's about 9 o'clock at night. When we got home, we basically just brought in all of our luggage and hit the pool. Because it's finally um, warmed up after we filled it. And um, so we just went swimming for a little bit. Um, and then I jumped out of the pool and jumped onto a conference call. And just a little warning, I'm about to talk about Plexus stuff. And, you know, I keep going back and forth because I don't want you guys to feel like I'm doing any kind of sales pitch or anything like that. But then on the other side, you know, this is a part of my life now. And these are daily vlogs. So, you know what? I'm going to be talking about it. So if you don't like it, you can just go ahead and stop this video. But I just got off a very awesome conference call. Uh, something I love about Plexus is it's basically a Christian company. Like everybody you talk to, it's giving glory to God. They talk about God, talk about their faith. And um, we had, they had a guy on there. He was a pharmacist for 40 years. And he was talking about the different products and how um, now today he's completely... Um, uh, off all of his medicines for um, diabetes because of the um, Plexus uh, products and he's a pharmacist still um, a working pharmacist and he um, tells all his people about Plexus and um, you know just encourages him and the way he looks at it you know he's he has something that helped him and he's sharing his testimony and he's so he started crying and it was just a really awesome time and you know what I was excited about is um, it was a uh, let's see it started at seven or eight o'clock it, it went till nine, so just for an hour. And what I thought was were pretty cool is I was out swimming. I jumped out of the swimming pool and jumped on my phone, and then I was able to carry the phone around while it's on speakerphone and um, just shit, put on my pajamas. I was sitting here eating dinner, taking notes, and I was like, I'm working, you know? Like, that's really cool to be able to work from home like that. Um, so anyway, it's got me um, just learning this information. It's got me researching some stuff. And something he said that kind of got me interested and I'm so mad right now. Like, I just put these, I'm not mad, but I just put the um, uh, crackers in my tomato soup. And then I started this vlog, and now they're going to get all soggy. And it's going to ruin the tomato soup because I don't like them super soggy. So, anyway, let me just hurry up and say this. Okay. So, something he was talking about was, um, it's like Candida, Candida yeast overgrowth. And um, I'm actually working on making a very funny video on that. If you don't follow me on Facebook, I'll link it down below. Be sure to do that because I've been posting um, some good little uh, clips of videos on Facebook, which I think are pretty funny if I do say so myself. But anyway, I'm working on doing something with that. But he was talking about the symptoms when, um, when you start taking things to start fighting that, the yeast overgrowth. And they are the, they are like flu symptoms which is so funny because that's what I'm dealing with right now. The body aches and the congestion, almost like a sinus, like cold. And apparently my, you know, the, you know, the products are working because I am, I'm fighting it and my body's like reacting to it. So I thought that was very interesting. So anyway, I'm going to sit down. Um, I'm going to conclude this vlog for the evening. I hope you enjoyed watching. Up. Up. Yeah. We keep his food up there because all the dogs come in and then he he likes to jump up there. So we've got a blanket way over there for him. Way oh, oh, over there. and But I do not let him walk on my kitchen table or my counters because I think it's real gross. But what I do is I just let him, he jumps right up there to get up to the fridge. And whenever we see him, we say up and he gets right up there. But it's so funny because before he does, he has to have a little conversation with you. You know, we say up and he's like, Arr. like he has to talk to you. But like, I'm going, I'm going up. So anyway.
Sophie, it was me. I hit the table and now she's all freaking out. Sophie, girl, are we home? Yeah, we're home. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my soggy cracker filled tomato soup now. So anyway, I hope you all enjoy this video and we'll see you next time. Bye.